we got the six O. Looking mighty clean. Um, we can go pinch welds, but I don't know. <laughs> might have a I don't know if you want to do the fucking pinch welds. <laughs> might have a jack Dude, trap. there's a hole in my fucking <laughs> fender. There's no way we're doing the pinch welds. Hello. <laughs> oh, shit. oh, dude, the wheel's off the ground already. That's perfect. People are like in the comments, like, dude, your truck's so nice. Like, little do they know, like. Nah. Yep. Nice. Dude, it's a project truck, it's man. It's a project truck. It's a project truck. 206,000 miles, you know? Oh, dude, I saw on, um, where is see? Facebook. I saw on Facebook <laughs> that someone paint matched these. They had a white truck and they paint matched the housings. That'd be dirty. It looks so sick. I think I might do that once I get aftermarkets. Fucking buy paint, mate. Bro, I know. So I didn't even explain what we're doing today, but we're basically taking my truck from, um, clapped to unclapped so we're basically taking it for like a 19 grand truck to like a 30 grand truck by some spray paint and some sanding it's not just spray paint it's undercoat my bad it's, it's rubberized undercoating so as you guys can see here yeah <laughs> oh my god that's that's fucked that's just so bad look at this oh it's actually not that bad this we peeled off already but today basically we are attempting to clean up my frame we're going to sand it down and then undercoat it and see if we can actually make it look half decent because like the truck really isn't all that rusty but the frame and like everything like it, it, there's some rust on it okay you know it is rusty i'm not gonna lie it's rusty and today we are going to attempt to go ahead and fix that and make it less rusty oh heavy all right, so this is what we're working with. Um, yeah, there's rust. We're gonna take this drill here with this wire wheel and go ahead and try to clean the rust up before we spray it. And we'll see how well it cleans it up. If it doesn't clean it up as good as we think, we might go out and get a die grinder and see if we can clean it up a little bit better. But um, we're gonna see how this works first. Dude, I had my arm on the rotor and I'm like, why is my arm getting so hot? Got the frame pretty well cleaned up. We got a lot of the surface rust off and all the basically like the peeling paint came off. Um, behind the spring, behind the shock, there's a reason we haven't touched that yet and that's because I am getting new shocks. So I'm gonna wait till I have the shock out to drop the axle and take the spring out and clean all this up. But for now we did the surrounding areas. I know it doesn't look too clean on camera, but this is actually really smooth and really well cleaned up. Like there's no rust that's gonna flake off of here. So right now we're just kind of taping off everything I don't wanna get undercoating on. And then also this knuckle here and all the steering components, we're not gonna touch that yet. Once again, once the spring's out and the shock's out, we're gonna go ahead and clean this up and probably get a die grinder and get in there and really get it cleaned up and then possibly undercoat it or we'll see what it looks like when it gets cleaned up. I'm not sure what I wanna do with that yet. This is more just like a test section. We're just kind of trying to see what works and how we're gonna attack this. Cause obviously we have pretty extensive rust and I'm trying to fix it and prevent it as much as possible. So eventually in a future video, we're gonna go ahead and do the rest of the truck's frame with the best way we find to do this. So I found the best way to like mask things off and you don't wanna paint like your springs and your shocks and whatever else you don't wanna get undercoating on is just find some old newspaper, old like flyers. Like I had this just laying around that was gonna get thrown away anyways. So I went ahead and wrapped it 
it around and then taped it up just to make sure it's stable. And what's so great about this stuff compared to like plastic is it's so formable. Like it almost stayed in this shape without me even putting tape. But I put some tape just to be extra sure it's not gonna go anywhere so I don't get undercoating on anything I don't want it on. So this is the stuff we're gonna be using to go ahead and undercoat the truck. It's Rust-Oleum undercoating pro grade. Literally picked this up at Menards. I think it's like four or five bucks a can. Uh, we'll see how this stuff holds up. Cause like I said, this is like a whole test section here. If I don't like this stuff or it's not holding up, I'm gonna try a different product. Everything wire wheeled, everything taped off. And then we took air from the air compressor and just blew off all the uh, rust and all the dust and everything. So now we're gonna go ahead and lay our first coat of this and see how it lays. All right, so the undercoating has been on the truck for about a week now. I want to pick this video up a little bit later just to kind of see how I like the undercoating and if there's things I want to change. All right, guys, so this is the final product here. It has held up really well. Like I said, it went through some mud, it went through some gravel, some rain, and I recently washed the truck yesterday. And yeah, I'd say it's holding up really, really well. I'm like, obviously, this looks really bad because we didn't sand this well enough. I want to sand this to where it's smooth so we don't have all this, like, I don't know, it's like these ripples and everything. But everything over here looks really good and everything over here looks really good. So in a future video, I will be undercoating the entire truck. Well, that's gonna be a wrap on today's video. If you guys enjoyed today's video, smash a huge thumbs up on today's video. In the comment section below, let me know if there's any other products I could try to do this undercoating with. And like I always say, if you're new here or you've been watching for a while and you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out. I've been riding, rolling, drinking, smoking. That's something I do. I've been hiding all of my emotions.